Hi, greetings everyone. So, we would like to share about how to color your ideas with business model canvas, which is brought to you by Inactus Unimas Malaysia Sarawak. So, before we start, welcome to subscribe our channel in YouTube. Our name of channel is Inactus Unimas. So why business model canvas? You can easily define and communicate your business and concept through a canvas. Then you are able to work through the basic elements of the business product and structure your idea in a more rational way. So here's a quote. Why business model canvas is important is because you got to plan it out first before you put into action. Okay, so at this at this African power is it for tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. So you got to prepare first before you start the business. This is the basic thing that you need to prepare before you actually initiate the your business idea. So through our lesson today you will understand two canvas, which are the business model canvas and the value proposition canvas. And lastly, will be what are the importance and how to apply them into your business idea. So at first, we would like to explain what is in the business model canvas. So you need to put your name of your business name and there will be key partners, key activities, and key resources, value proposition, as well as the value proposition canvas, as we're going to teach you later, customer relationship, customer segment, and channels, and last but not least will be cost structure and revenue stream. So understanding your business idea will be the the first one that we're going to teach you today. So what are the key activities, key partners, and key resources? As for key activities, key activities is what are the activities does the business needed to achieve value for the customer? Is like what kind of activities that you're going to do? For example, if you are doing a F&B business, you would be actually like somehow cook cook on the spot or how you are going to present your meals to the customers. So next will be the key partners. Key partners are like who, what kind of companies that are going to help help you in sense of like, like for F&B, right? Who are your food suppliers? Like who is going to supply ingredients to you to help you achieve your key activities and help you to deliver reels in a sense like how how you're going to manage is the re relationship with your companies and suppliers so the key resources is what kind of resources that you need to do business for example like maybe you need to buy a stall or you need to rent a shop lot just to run your business So who are your business audience? How you will engage with them? Where you can find them? So here we are talking about these three things, which is the customer relationship, the channels, and the customer segment. So about customer relationship, how you actually meet your customer? Do you actually call them by phone or through events? So for example, like in the FMB business, you would maybe meet your customer through food truck during the events or you do as a delivery because you are doing dry ingredients which is not needed to uh, have a restaurant or some outlet that you need to like cook, cook on the spot yeah so the channels is where are your customers is it through social media or events so how where are your customers for example, how to get them is through offline marketing, through networking, or in the search engine optimization, which is for example like Google, if 
you are doing business and where your customers can find you, they would be interested to find you in Google or anywhere that is relevant. Like for example, you give advertisement to them or you do an advertisement in Facebook. That's a kind of way where you can get your customers. So in the customer segment, so who are the people are using your product? Is it your product, your business idea is just focusing on male or female or old people or young people? That's just the thing that you need to understand. What, who are your target audience in this? Yeah. Okay. So next will be the value proposition, which is inserting the values into Canvas. If your business does not not does not have value, what will be what kind of business is it? You think about it, okay? So your business need to have value inside. If there's no value inside, people won't actually go and buy in your idea. So here are the three questions that you need to ask yourself. What is the problem I'm solving? Okay, what kind of issue? For example, F and B, there's a lot of F and B happening, but you must identify the problem, okay? Like, for example, like, oh, okay, this area there is a lot of fried food, then I would like to pursue in a healthy, healthy cooking to solve it. That's, that's what, that's an example, okay? The next will be, why would someone want to have this problem solved? Why? So, because, for example, that just now I mentioned, if let's say the person, the area have a lot of fried food, that means the possibility of people would have higher chance of getting high cholesterol. So, the maybe it would be a good idea if you would introduce healthy food around the area as a part of the solution. So, what would be the main motivation for this problem? Would people go there to look for healthy food or they just came to just go there and try the uh, unhealthy food, the fried food, correct? So here, when we do the canvas, we, when we do value proposition, we need to know the canvas also, which is better because you get a clear idea about what is the value, like what is the, where you want to put the idea, your value into it, okay, your ideas into the value, okay. So first we need to understand the gains, gains of it, so which is the benefit which customer expects of need, yeah, if higher percentage of customers need healthy products, which is a good thing, what kind of needs they need, they might need uh, something that is take away or that is up to you is your uh, idea. And customer's job next will be the functional, social and emotional tasks customers are trying to handle to satisfy their needs. So you may think, okay, when they go to the freight station, they might look up for healthy food, that's example. Or maybe because that area is people who are actually Working around, they are office workers. They may be looking for the nearest option they have. So next one will be pain. Pain is like a negative experience which customer experience. For example, like maybe during the place the traffic is too too packed, which actually drags their time. That's a sometimes that's like a pain. The feeling of uneasiness you know okay so the next one will be on the left which is the game curator game curator is more on the how the products or services curates the games for customers and how it offers to add value to your customer so for example like when you say healthy food you might want to provide fruits to them as a value added uh, to your services or product. Whereas next one will be the products and services. 
Okay, product and services are things that actually relieve the pain, which actually create the gain to support the value for your customer. Which like, for example, you maybe provide delivery to actually support the value of your customers, which is a good thing because it may help them to reduce time in sense of the waiting time they're going to wait there or how. And next, the last three will be the pain reapers, which how your products and services reduce your customer's pain. Okay, so as you can see, you need to rest in the value proposition. You need to understand what are the gains, what are the customer's jobs, what are the customer are going to do, then what are the pains that go, they are going to face. And you as the enterprise, you need to know what are you going to give them. You are going to give them values in sense of giving them free things or free services, free delivery. Or you have this, what kind of pain, pain relievers, what kind of, how your product are going to reduce the customer's pain. Okay. So next will be calculate your model and cost. This in the enterprise journey, it's very important for you to actually manage your cost because, because you are handling your financial. If anything happens, if you accidentally mess up the your revenue or your cost into the same thing, it would actually make make it more complicated. So in this so as a thing you and you design your business idea you need to understand your cost structure which is how much cost that you need to actually achieve your key activities you see key activities is there any additional cost if you're handling food you need to understand okay what are the like it does it have any taxes tax to do it or there's a daily cert that you need to achieve and the cost of getting the key or cert and key partnerships okay so the revenue stream how do you gain your revenue do you charge your the fees for services or through subscription or each payment for the product this is what you need to know about it so Here's a shout out for you. If you are interested to send, like, to write, it would be great you can actually send a copy of your assignment to us. Then we help you to check. But this is like a homework uh, for you. So as you can see, you are, you are required to find one business or company or enterprise and analyze the business model of it. Space is distilled into business model canvas, okay, but not not the famous one like Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, YouTube, and so on. We actually, we actually encourage you guys to find things that, like for example, a, a website that you like a local website that is doing selling um, sambal or what. Then you just try to analyze the business model. And if you have done, welcome to email your worksheet. We will actually include during the package as well. We have an email address in actors 18 unimas at gmail.com. So when you email to us, remember to insert, insert your name, address, and matrix number if you are from Unimas. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you.